Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. Doing a bit of a collaboration with another channel I'm sure you're already aware of, Creations by S. Uh, Paracord tutorials and more. Creations by S and more is what they call it. Put a link to their uh, channel down below. I was actually speaking to uh, Mihail. He's one of the individuals behind that channel. Uh, he works alongside Silvio. Um, they're all the way in Croatia. So it was really awesome to speak to them in, uh, over the phone. And um, yeah, he... They did this tu uh, tutorial recently and he actually asked if I could do my version of it or kind of put my spin on it. And uh, yeah, this is what we're doing. It is a knot and loop uh, trilobite bracelet and it's got a separate core and it is a slimmer trilobite, meaning um, it's not a four strand core, it's actually a three strand core, which is pretty interesting. So that is what we're doing today. Um, this one turned out really nicely. I really like it. I'm gonna wear this one myself, of course. So remember guys, if you want to uh, support the channel, feel free to shop through those affiliate links down below or check me out on Patreon. And I always appreciate all the supporters of this channel. All right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start this bracelet, I've got my first piece of paracord. It's the uh, longest strand for the core. We're gonna start off by tying a diamond knot up top. So uh, let's go through that again, very simple. I'm gonna make, Make a loop like so. Lay that over the other strand. Take uh, the strand on the left, bring that around, go over the first strand, under the middle, and over the last one. So bring that around. Then we have our Carrick Spend. <clears throat> then next we're going to take the strand on the right, go past this strand up top here, and then go through the middle. Bring that out. Like so. And then bring this strand around, go past this strand here, and out the middle. Okay. So let's form up our diamond knot. And of course, this is where you want to make your half inch loop up top for the um, other diamond knot to go through. So just cinch this up. But don't um, cinch it up all the way. Give it a, just a bit of tension, just so it holds. And then we have to incorporate our other strands. Okay, so we got that first diamond knot tied. It's not uh, super tight yet, not super cinched down because uh, we want to take our uh, third strand. This is going to form that middle kind of core that we're going to weave the uh, trilobite around. And then you're going to take that. Um, you can tie your knot super loosely. That way you don't need a fid, but I'm just going to use a fid. And then you're going to feed this strand right through the middle, right here, right through the diamond knot. And bring that all the way through. Now be careful not to um, yank it all the way out. Okay, so you see I've got that strand coming through the middle. Like so. Sometimes I just like to torch it a bit. Just let that kind of mushroom out so it won't... Uh, slip through. But anyways, uh, so that's going to be the middle strand, like so. And then also lastly, before we tie anything else down, we're going to, you can do this after as well, but just to make it easier before we cinch up that um, diamond knot fully, you're also going to incorporate your main weaving strand. Okay, and we're gonna do it the same way putting it just right through the middle. I'm just gonna go through the bottom this time because I don't wanna have to pull all that excess paracord through. So just do that, like so. And then you wanna get these as close as you can because we're gonna snip and melt these. 
Now, before um, you go any further, tighten up that diamond knot. Pull it as tight as you can. Okay, so cinch that up. And then also we're going to snip and melt these um, two cords at the top just to secure them where they are. Okay, so just get that diamond knot super cinched up. And then we're going to snip and melt those cords. Okay, so we've got that first um, knot tied and we've got the two uh, you know, strands incorporated. This is the main weaving strand and this is the third core strand. Now we're going to do the same thing down below. We're going to tie another diamond knot and do the exact same thing and feed that um, middle core strand through the diamond knot. So let's get our two longer strands. This is where you have to determine your bracelet length, but you can always kind of adjust this on the fly. Just don't uh, snip and melt yet. So let's, from here, I'm going to estimate about that much. We're going to tie our diamond knot. So same thing. Go through this one a little bit more quickly. Okay, so I got that um, diamond knot tied loosely. Now I'm going to again get my fid. You don't have to use a fid again. You can just leave enough space to pass that strand through. So just go right through the middle. Bring that through. And now we can tighten that diamond knot. Okay. Now I don't suggest you snip and melt this time um, this third strand yet because now uh, if you leave it there it's still adjustable so we can kind of uh, determine how much length we have we can move it up or down as we see fit okay so this is probably a little bit too long but this is what we'll go with and then we can um, finish that off later okay so I tighten that up just a little bit and now we're gonna actually tie a third diamond knot this is going to be our um, closure knot so, and we're just going to tie it right below that um, second diamond knot. So let's do that really quick. Okay, so I got my paracord on my jig now, and um, I didn't cut off this excess cord yet, the third strand or this um, excess here, but in case I need to adjust it. That's the glory of these um, knot and loop bracelets. You don't have to be as accurate. So I've got this on the jig. You don't have to use a jig, but I'm just using it to show you clearly. Now we're going to start weaving the um, trial bait weave. So uh, we're going to start this off. It's going to be the single strand version. You're going to go over the first strand under the middle and over the third strand pull all that through like so and then you're going to go back and you're going to go under over and under and pull all the excess through okay so then kind of cinch that up and push it up like so might look a little weird at first, but trust me, it's going to work. Okay, now we're back on this side. So same thing, you're going to go over, under, and over, like so. Push it up. Like that, and then go back the other way, under, over, under. So it's super simple when you're doing the um, trilobite with a single strand. And see how those core strands are showing? You just push everything up and that will cover up the core and look proper. Okay, so now we're back where we started. Same process, over, under, over. 
Okay, so super easy to do this one. And there you can see now our trilobite is forming. Okay, so I'm just going to continue this pattern of the single stranded trilobite going all the way down. And then I will meet you down at the bottom. Okay, so I've come down to the end of my bracelet and before I got here, I actually did some adjusting just due to sizing. So um, it was a little big, so I had to move these knots up. That's why I left all this excess on here. So I did um, end up going to my fids for the last uh, few knots, just to make it a little bit easier. I apologize for the kind of camera angle change, but so yeah, just get as many knots in as you can. I think I'm going to do one more pass. Yeah, I think that'll be it. Over, under, over. And as you can see by that tension, we're going to have no problems um, keeping paracord in here. Just getting all that twists out. Okay, so that is more or less done. So now all I have to do is clip off all the excess paracord, the uh, main weaving strand here. We can just snip and melt it right here. You can, if you really wanted to, you can tuck it underneath. I don't think that's necessary though. It might make a little bulge there. Uh, clip off this excess third strand and then clip off the excess uh, tail strands here. Okay, and there we have it guys, we are done. This slim knot and loop trilobite is finished, and this one turned out wonderfully. Big thank you again to Silvio and Mihail uh, over at Creations by S for asking me to kind of put my spin on this tutorial and do my version. And yeah, I'm gonna wear this one for myself, so that is awesome. So yeah, I'll put a link down to uh, Creations by S. I'm sure you know of their channel already. Great, great quality videos, and um, I will definitely see you guys on the next video.